one of the biggest events ever at the World War I Museum since it opened in 1926. That's saying something. The centennial celebration is tomorrow, marking 100 years since the U.S. joined the war. We have retired Colonel Robert D'Alessandro, and he is the chairman of the Centennial Commission. Thanks so much for being here, oh, Rob. Cynthia, thanks for having us here. And we are you are, ready? Are you excited? Are, we're you're, ready? you're ready to go. I'm excited. You're I think on you the can edge tell. Of your chair. I, no, I can't. I can't <laughs> stop myself from the excitement. You know, I I think this is a great opportunity for Kansas City yeah. and for the United States, and, and I'll tell you why. I believe that World War I changed America mm. forever, yeah. and dramatically and forever. It, it changed the way that we look at gender, mm. and the way we look at race, yes. and yes. the way that we play on the world stage. Mm -hmm. After World War I, there was no going back for America. When you send two million people overseas, when 4.7 million people are de not deployed, but leave their homes for training in the United States and see New York City and Chicago and Kansas City when they lived in a small county. Yeah. And then that those that go on overseas see Paris and London and all of them mm -hmm. see New York, you change the society forever. That's so true. And That's you so know, we say, it, we say at the World War I Centennial Commission, Rosie the Riveter had a mother. Mm -hmm. You know, it was generally believed that before World War I, that women were too frail for war work, that they mm -hmm. just couldn't do it. Yeah. After the war, that changed. Well, we proved that's not and, true. Yeah. And so this is a great ceremony because it talks about a generation that opened an American century and we're doing it right here in Kansas City. So now, I who's think that's coming? So this is really attracting people around the world. Over 25 nations will be represented wow. tomorrow. Yeah. And leaders in government and throughout the United mm. States. And we're just, you know, we're just delighted that we're getting this notice. Uh, it, it really is a forgotten war in so many ways, and, and all for the wrong reasons. And so I think important. that's so important. Now, what do you have planned? What's going on? So How do we start? I, we're very proud of, of, of the ceremony we put together. I think you're going to see that it's, it's the kind of thoughtful ceremony mm -hmm. that you won't see speechifying, as okay, we like to great. say. Okay, great. What you're going to hear, you're going to hear the words of the people that actually lived during that period. And we're going to talk about people that were against the war, that were for the war, people that thought we made a, an incredible mistake in coming into Europe's affairs. George Washington had warned us about that. But we're going to take it from all kinds of different angles to show you and give you a really good flavor of the period. Nothing traditional, all exciting, Ab very engaging. Absolutely. All right, uh, there's now a we great production, have, too, yes. that's been put oh, together for really? this. And, and uh, you know, they haven't even showed the whole thing to me. A it's going to be a big surprise. Kind of a exactly. Oh, It'll wow. cut together historical footage okay, and readings. Okay. So we're looking forward to that. And the Patrol de France will be flying here in Kansas City, Ooh. and they're just fantastic. And, oh, my. And uh, you might have seen some of the photographs from New this York City. This is going to be really great. All right, it's so gonna we're going to carry this tomorrow here on 41 uh, Action News in the morning. Definitely people want to uh, tune in. Now, we had tickets, but they're all sold out. They Absolutely. were free, but all the free tickets have been distributed. So you're going to need to watch it on 41. And uh, we wish you all success. And I know it's going to be a so great, much. exciting time. And thank you for your service and for all that you're doing for our community, bringing in this many nations and this many people. Great. I can't uh, wait to, to see you out there. That's going to be great. Thank okay. you.